Playing trade guitars is giving away this Epiphone Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. $549 edition with leopard print case to one of you if we can hit 20,000 subscribers before the new year. If before December 31st, 2021, Playing Trade Guitars has 20,000 subscribers, we will go live and draw a random winner to win this guitar. And don't forget, that's just a bonus. On Playing Trade Guitars, we're giving away a Gibson Custom Shop R7 Les Paul when we hit 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> Right, hey, for playing trade guitars, I'm John. That's Zach behind the camera, back with another unboxing today. We showed you the Epiphone Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. at the $549 price point with the sweet leopard cheetah case. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Epiphone Billy Joe Armstrong Players Pack. This has a $399 price point. We'll talk about the differences and the features. You get an amp. It does have a bolt-on neck, but we're going to unbox it right now and take a look. We've got the box right here, brand new from the factory. Uh, good people at Epiphone and Gibson let us know that this was coming out, so you are seeing this the week of the release. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up this and see what this package has, which is more geared for a beginner um, or someone with smaller hands, as we'll talk about. First box out, I can only guess that this must be an amplifier. This must be the guitar, and then probably some, ex yeah, some accessories here, the gig bag, um, strap and all that. We'll take a look. All right, so starting with the amp that comes with the player's pack. This is an obvious difference from the $549 guitar only version that has the hard case. In the player's pack, which is clearly geared for somebody starting out who's excited to start playing electric guitar, it comes with the Epiphone amplifier. It looks like it's got an eight inch speaker in there. If I flip it around, it's an open back cabinet, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty sharp look. You don't need the silica gel. Good compact size. You got a clean and an overdrive. We got a volume, a single input, gain for the channel two overdrive and volume, and then EQ across the board. Other cool features, you have an aux in if you want to jam, jam along to some Green Day or some music, and then a phones out if you don't want to drive uh, your roommates or your parents or whoever it is crazy, or your neighbors, let's be real, that's the ones who's gonna call the cops. All right, so there's the amp, let's take a look at the guitar now. All right, there we are. Valuable and important accessories in the box, do not discard. So here the other goes. one was late night, now we're on coffee. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we looked at the Epiphone 15G amp. Let's check out the Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. bolt-on version. Take it out of the packaging here. Oh, there's your sticker. There's a sticker I was missing. All right, so we've got the Player's Edition Les Paul Jr. out of the box. Starting up at the headstock, we have a silk-screened grayish-white Epiphone logo and a silk-screened Les Paul Jr logo. We have the inspired by Gibson style headstock. Moving down, we have a PVC plastic white nut. We have 22 frets on an Indian laurel fretboard. We have this beautiful classic white gloss body. It's a mahogany body. And something to point out about the Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Juniors in general is you can't get that classic white gloss in any other finish in the inspired by Gibson line of Les Paul Juniors. So if some of you have pointed out, the pricing is pretty good if you think about on the $549 version, you're getting basically the guitar at the Inspired by Gibson price, which was previously only available in Sunburst, but you're also getting that sweet cheetah case. Now at the $399 price point in the player's pack, you're getting a guitar that while it has a bolt-on neck, has a big advantage of being easier to play for smaller hands. So this slim taper neck is the biggest difference in terms of feel for the guitar. We have an Epiphone dog ear, Here's the two dog ears, P90 pickup, a compensated wraparound uh, bridge tail piece, adjustable in two points, height-wise with these two pegs, and intonation-wise with these two screws in the back. In terms of controls, you have the simplicity of a single volume, a single tone. This body itself measures in at about one, exactly one and three quarters inches. And then flipping the guitar over, let's start at the back of the headstock and work down. Still working with that inspired by Gibson headstock shape, serial number at the top. We have the die-cast uh, generic tutors. They do their job just fine. Working down the neck, we have a slim tapered D neck. This is attached to the body with a bolt-on plate. Back of the body, no contours, flat, and then one control cavity for the electronics. Two screws to access the back electronic cavity. And in here, we have Korean-made alpha pots. All right, so flipping back 
over the guitar, let's talk about the initial setup out of the box. So this guitar came detuned, so we tuned it up, we stretched the strings a bit, and then I found the action to be actually really comfortable. Uh, fairly low action. Um, everything was intonated and playing uh, well. I didn't have any complaints out of the box. I found the tuning stability to be good. In terms of imperfections on the guitar, the only one I noticed was a slight flaw on the fretboard. Uh, right here you can see a nick out of the box from the factory. All right, so here is that gig bag. And pretty cool, while you didn't get the signature on the back of the headstock in the player's pack, you do get the signature right here on the gig bag. Got an Epiphone guitar strap. Oh, it comes with a tuner. There we go, lighten it up, coming to life. A couple small things in here you don't want to lose. Here's the Allen wrench. This is actually really important if you need to do any setup for the intonation of the guitar. A couple uh, medium Epiphone picks. And then of course you got to plug it into something, so here is your quarter inch guitar cable. Maybe a 10 foot cable. Somewhere in there. And uh, you get everything you need to basically pick up and start playing guitar. It looks like everything's here. Let's plug it all in and see how it sounds. These new straps are always a wrestling match. That's normal. And then I'll take the plastic off the P90 here. Not quite. So let's tune it up. That's why they gave you a tuner, right? Turn the volume down on your guitar. And we'll power it up. We'll push it in to go to overdrive. We'll turn everything to noon, meaning uh, I'm gonna turn the gain to five or top of the notch here. play a little rhythm and then we'll kick the gain up even further and see how far we can go with it. Initial impressions, everything at five, everything at nude on the amp. Uh, it's a fun sounding amp. It has that overdrive. It's not too heavy right out of the gate. This guitar is very easy to play. It's got a slim taper neck. The action out of the box, once I got it tuned up, is nice and low. This is a very playable guitar. Um, forget the fact that this guitar has a bolt-on neck. If you are looking to start out and you're interested in the Epiphone Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr., if you have smaller hands, if you're younger, if you don't want to fight the fat neck with higher action that you find on the $549 price point, forget the fact that it's a set neck and understand that this guitar will be a lot more fun to play and much easier to play because it's got a slimmer neck that sits nice in your hand and the action is a lot lower out of the gate. All right, let's crank the gain up all the way because why not? because that's what you're gonna do, right? Don't tell me you're not gonna do that. <laughs> rolled it all the way down, gain all the way up. Tone back up. Rock. 
Rock and roll. It sounds like a guitar. It sounds like a cranked up loud guitar. Um, so keep in mind, I have the volume only halfway up right now. This is a loud amp. I mean, for a small amp, this is a loud amp. Um, if you were jamming with uh, you know, a friend who was playing drums or something, I, I really think you could probably keep up. So I'll take the gain from 10 down to like a two. Yeah, well, with that little speaker too, it's cool. You can get actually more of a vintage sound if you roll that tone like way down like that. Halfway. Good sounding guitar, so I can go from like, kind of like you said, a blues breaker, kind of like vintage 60s blues rock sound with the overdrive turn fairly low and playing with the guitar's volume, I had that volume about halfway down, um, to just a screaming, you know, rock and roll guitar. And honestly, a Les Paul Jr. in general is just a great rock and roll guitar. It's a simple, you know, rock machine. It's got a tone and volume. It's got the one P90 pickup, which sounds good on this guitar. The neck is easy to play. Uh, you know, for me, I've got a pretty low slung right now. Let's see how it sounds clean. Respectable clean, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean this amp is actually looks pretty sharp too. I like that kind of retro slant on the Epiphone cabinet. Um, one more little test we'll give is just plug this in direct and just give you 30 seconds of how it sounds if you are running the amp direct to headphones. All right, so this is me rocking at home with headphones. You're gonna get that lo-fi crunch thing, which you might think is kind of cool. <laughs> Rock and roll, it's there for your ears to bleed so no one else have to, uh, but it's an option. I wouldn't say it's the best sounding option, but if you're really trying to practice, I guess while we're at it, let me just flip it to clean. It's a crunchy clean. All right, so I'm gonna give you my initial take. Um, the guitar is easy to play, great for a beginner, everything you need in the box, uh, right down to the picks. So, um, you know, for a $399 price point, the fact that you get the amp, and the whole bundle and everything. Uh, the white gloss is really sharp. This is a cool guitar. I mean, you can really just join a rock band and start playing, have fun with your friends, and make some noise and make plenty of it. Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's necessarily the most high definition amplifier on the planet, but it's a start, right? Um, it will give you that crunch tone. I think my favorite tone actually was probably the overdrive setting with the with the gain down at about two, and you start to get kind of like Zach said that blues breaker, like vintage '60s breakup, that dirty clean I call it. Make sure you're subscribed to Playing Trade Guitars. Thanks for watching this demo. Make sure you're in it to win it. We're giving away the Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. set neck version, and when we hit 50,000 subscribers, that beautiful Les Paul over my shoulder, that custom shop green Les Paul, is going to one of you. Thanks for watching. Keep playing trade, and see you guys soon. It's pretty cool, right? I didn't think it was going to sound that good. <laughs> it actually, it, it's really funny to tell you the truth. This plays better out of the box than the $549 version. It, did, yeah. it really does. I needed to do a complete setup on the $549 version. It's shipped, and it seems like this is a thread that they've been shipping with high action. So I had to do uh, quite a few changes. Probably took me close to an hour to get that in optimal playing condition. And I can tell you the action is still significantly higher than this guitar. So don't shop on price, shop on how a guitar feels in your hands because for a lot of people, this $399 player's pack guitar will be the right choice. Um, it feels great. It was fun to play, I enjoyed it. I could get around on it you know, pretty easy. So there's the comparison. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.